What's up lovely people and welcome back to the vlog. It just takes a couple of seconds now to just recognize that it is noisy upstairs. I apologize for that y'all. My mother's cleaning, she's a cleaning freak. Um, if you hear noises outside, thunderstorming, that's it. But also, um, my acne. It's the time of the month again and uh, yeah, my acne is acting ridiculous. So if you have any recommendations, um, please leave them down below. If you guys are new, please go ahead and subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and let's get on to this video. Today's video is going to be making something out of nothing. If you can't tell by my lovely backdrop, um, I did laundry, so yes, the shower curtains are clean. Let's go analyze this together. That's pretty scary, huh, mommy? So one thing for sure is I really don't want to do anything that involves sewing, so hopefully this turns into a no sew project and that everybody is able to do this on their own at home and get some loveliness out of curtains. I didn't even know what that was, but. Like I said, I hope this turns into a nose loop project, but the first thing is first, we need to analyze our new material. Starting with the first material, it is quite shiny. They have two different hemming sizes on both sides of the curtain, and the span is really long, but my arm length span. Super girl! The next one was not quite as shiny, so we give it a little bit of dance to hopefully bring out more of its shine. The width is not as big as the first one. If I was to compare this to my waist size, it won't be much bigger than that, which says a lot, but both panels are 83 inches. I went on pictures to kind of get inspired by some ideas of what I can do with this, and then I came to a conclusion that I was going to do some sort of halter type dress. Whenever I was playing around with this, it kind of gave me Marilyn Monroe vibes, so I said, shoot, let's go for it. To start the halter part of the dress, I just took some material that would cover my boots, and then marked that with a pair of scissors, and cut down the material. I ended up cutting about a third or maybe a little bit less than a third of my material and I wanted to make sure that it fit perfectly as I wanted to before we headed on to the next phase. I went back to the same curtain and cut out about six inches of material, maybe more or less, depending on how thick you want a waistband to be. Whenever I was done cutting my material out, I went ahead and folded in the raw edges about a fourth of an inch to half an inch thin, and then pinned that down with the safety pin. And pro tip everyone, check, 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 test, 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 because you want to make sure everything fits perfectly, because when you cut and alter things, sometimes it doesn't fit as well as you thought. So I went ahead and tested out how I wanted to use the waistband, how I wanted to manipulate it, and everything like that perfectly so far. Um, lastly, it's time to make a skirt. Um, we don't need to ask how you want, so I use the raw side up and I kind of fold a little bit of the raw edges so it's not like just out there. And tie it into a cute little bow and then add the band that we made just a few minutes ago to hide the rest of it. Then a quartz queen has to be extra, so I took the other curtain and my little mini TR and added a bell just to hopefully bring this outfit together. Drum roll, please! Time for the big reveal! Are you guys ready to see the most magical dress ever? One, two,
So I didn't like the veil and the shoes as much as I thought I would have. So to hell with those. And these. I am actually very impressed with how this dress came out. Like, ah. Uh. What we got here is a special halter top dress with a very, 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 very small zipped. And a cute little swoop. I like just about everything about this dress besides the fact that it's not long enough. I feel like I want the super flowy Ebony's Day vibes. This is very cute. They will, this dress would look so much better with some cute shoes. Now let's go to prom. Not only am I doing one, it will kick me out of this high school to see this dress. Maybe it's something you could wear to a funeral. Hmm. <laughs> Da -da. I'm telling y'all with the right hair and makeup, this dress would be the bomb.com. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did like it, please give me a big fat thumbs up. If you didn't, then I don't hate you. Just subscribe. Then I'll love you. Don't forget to ring my notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.